Welcome back to the Dumbest Hobby Channel on all of YouTube. Pit Stain Hobbies. Uh, we're back at Wayne Manor here, down in the Bat Cave, working on the 66 Batmobile from Fan Home. Link below. And we have got stages something through something. Let's just pull the books out of here. 39 through 44. Very nice. Six stages per pack. Uh, with the 66 Batmobile, so you build it a little bit faster. It's quite nice. We also got our uh, our binder. Okay. Um, I really, I, I just generally throw the manuals out when I'm done with a build, but I might keep the Batmobile ones and uh, read through the stuff. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Who knows? But uh, there's that. that. There's that. So we got the binder. And we got all our parts here. So let's get started. With 39, which is oh, brake hoses, <laughs> drum brakes and brake hoses. Um, and I'll get these other parts set aside for now. My precarious pile of nearly empty boxes behind me because we get so many damn packages here. Not that, that's not my number one obsession in the world. I love me some packages getting delivered. Got a couple things delivered today as well, um, including a new laptop. Um, for me to take on the road, because I had a total fail when I was in the UK trying to uh, process video, and the laptop I brought with me was just too damn old and nothing was working right. And uh, yeah, so I had to get a had to get a new laptop. I bought refurbished. It's quite a good deal. It was like three hundred and sixty nine dollars for uh, an eleventh gen Intel i seven with thirty two gigs of RAM and. 512 gig solid state with an NVIDIA Quadro T500 graphics uh, system in it. Um, and it's a, well, it's a, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad, my, my favorite brand of laptops, um, personally. Um, I'd put a link to it, but it was on eBay, and I bought the last one that this seller had. So we've got a whole bunch of hosiness going on here. Oh, we just, we just got one really long piece of hose. That's it. Um and I, maybe it's me getting old or something, but uh, man, I'm 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 getting getting frustrated with these hoses. I got hoses in different area codes, area codes, hoses in different area codes, area codes. Let's see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Am I just pushing these on to the rear axle? Yeah, it's, it's really it. Just got a couple of push-on parts um, on the rear axle. And yeah, we'll save that. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could push them on to the rear axles. That sounds super fun. Okay, let me go grab the car. I'll be right back with the chassis. All right, well, we've got this out, and I've determined one thing. I don't like brake hoses. And I'll be honest, um, I think they're silly. Silly! And these should only fit on one way on each side, I think. Ugh, there we go. That just squeezes on there. Um, I'm just, you know what? I'm not putting the brake hoses on. Uh, you, you Do that, please, if you want. They have a, a right and a left stamped on them by the way so you know wait a second that's right why did it go on the left side uh, i don't know what i did let's see l is it upside down no one hole is square and one hole is round Square ones, is that even square? I don't know. Let's see. Yep, that fits on fine. And it's a nice tight squeeze, no glue required. Um, the outer drums we're gonna save for later, I think. Let's see here. I'm just not doing the hoses. You're never gonna see them. I'm never gonna flip the car over and uh, yeah. I just, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fan home. Don't get mad at me for not doing the hoses. Um, let's go to 40. We got some fun stuff here. 
Ooh. Spicy. Steamy. Mmm. Okay. Hey, Wolfman. Wolfman has... Nard, son of a... One second. I'll be right back. Even with my phone on silent, if my wife calls, it'll ring because she's on the special people list. Um, and she doesn't care that I'm filming, ever. Uh, so here's, here's stage 40. We got part of a wheel here. And... <clears throat> Batmobile... Uh, come on, come on. Uh, ah, open. There we go. Okay, well, there's stage 40. And we are just going to place it on there. And that's stage 40. Oh, that was short and sweet. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a rather short video, possibly. And here's 41. I'm going to actually open and go through the instructions for 41. So let's see what happens. Adam West, Burt Ward, comic books, Riddler, comic books, some Bat Dude, Batgirl, got the flaming sword, and oh my god. This, okay, this is almost a little silly. Let's go. Here we go. But, you know, I, I don't care. It is what it is. All right, so. The only advice I can give you here is pick the side of the tire that you like better. So these Firestone wide ovals are very nice. Super Sports G70-15 Soup R belt. Look at that. Yeah, they're very nice. Um... Both sides look pretty much equally good. I kind of like this side a little better. The other side had a tiny little, tiny itty bitty little, look at that little divot, tiny little divot. So I'm going to put the outside of the rim into the, the, the pretty side that I like better. And uh, it's not going to stay together. So we need, uh, we need 42 now. To looking for round parts. Here we go. Ah, careful. Oh, jeez. My work area is so cramped. Here's 42. Are we going to finally break out a screwdriver? Yay! All right. You silly belly. Um, oh, good thing the garbage man just came. CPFM. We got a washer. We got AM. And we've got three parts. We have the other half of the rim. And we have the little center cap and bat logo for it. Those are beautiful. And, uh, oh, instructions. That would help. Let's see, 42. Oh, there's the King Tut guy or something. That was, oh, that was, a, that was an interesting episode. <laughs> there we are. Okay. And we're going to squeeze the wheel together. And we're going to use five CP screws to get the wheel together. So let's do this. Make sure that center is in there. And then we're going to line up these five tabs with those five chromed posts. Okay, and then five CP screws in there. So be right back, everybody. All righty. We're all screwed together. <laughs> it's, this is the only thing that, that doesn't have a screw loose down at this workbench. Um, then we're going to take one of our uh, uh, brake rotors. Are the, uh, well, like brake drums. Sorry, brake drums. I, I apologize. Oh, my God. I'm such a dummy. Uh, they both appear to be the same exact bits. So we're going to put one of these like this onto those two little studs right there. I'm going to get those screwed in with AM screws. Don't forget to dip them in a little lubricant. Don't forget to schmoo your screw. One second. Okay, so our schmooed screws are in there and we got our brake drum installed. And we are going to now bolt this on right here and we will have a three-wheeled Batmobile. Oh my God. 
The Batmobile lost a wheel and the Joker got away. Da 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 da. Okay, we'll be in Batmobile lost a wheel mode. Um, a wheel, not two wheels. We're going to take a little washer here and put that in the hole. Put your washer in the hole. And then an FM screw to hold that in, which is a flanged metal screw. Appropriate letter designation. They didn't do that on purpose. I almost guarantee you. That was a total accident that it's an FM. I, 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 I have to almost guarantee that. Uh, the axles are... F this, this axle tip is metal, so that's nice. That's going to be good and strong. Uh, let's see here. Okay, well, let me get this in. I'll be right back. All right, so the wheel's on, and uh, when you're putting the screw in, you know, tighten it basically until it doesn't move, and then untighten it like an eighth of a turn at the time until you can just move it. Uh, or you could tighten it all the way down, and she won't move at all. And, you know, you can do that, and then it, it's really difficult to move. Uh, I don't need this thing rolling around. I'm not, I'm not playing wee like, you know, Kid on the Christmas Story. Uh, so then we are going to take up uh, right here and we're going to, we're going to shove the little center cap in and then put the bat logo in there. So that's nice and easy. It fits in beautifully. Get the little bat logo. There you go. And, uh, it still comes out easy enough if you need to take a wheel off. So that's it for stage 42. Now it pretty much stands on its own. That's quite nice. It's also very long, isn't it? Yes, it is. So let's go to 43. See what we got here. And we got some exhaust pipes. Very nice. And we got some more collateral in here. Justice Society. Detect there we go. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, there's nothing in there. There's nothing left in there. Gabbage. Get rid of the excess turtle death on the workbench here. Um, yep. All right, there we are. And plastic parts. And we are going to take... All right, whatever. That works too. There we go. I just, I'm just tired of picking around inside those packages. We're going to take what looks like something, something, and something, something. Are these both the same? Yeah, they're both the same. So we're going to take one of these. Uh, that's for the next stage. So we need 43C, which is this one. And we need 43 a, which is, oh dear, this one, this one, yes, with a little, uh, so holding it this way, this little fellow will be on the outside of that pipe. That's 43A. And 43C is going to go into this bottom hole here. And we're going to screw down one KP screw into the center there. So let me get that in, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, now that that's screwed in, we want to hold the pipe in this orientation. And then this muffler goes one way, and it's got a little, uh, little arrow pointing that way. You want the arrow pointing at the exhaust pipe, and then get an AP screw down in here, right in that tab. So one sec... Beer, beer, All righty. Well, we've got our vehicle upside down now. I've got it propped up on a couple of uh, little rattle can, rattle primer cans. And uh, we've got to bolt this thing over here. And we've got to, like, fish the exhaust pipe underneath, underneath the rear axle. And then over, and then underneath that axle. And then get that right there. There we go. Um, and we're going to get one CM screw in the middle there. 
And don't forget to lube your screws. One second, please. Okay, so this is in place, but not fully tightened. So it still has a little bit of wiggle to it. Still got a little give. And we've got to attach this pipe to this muffler with an AP screw. Remember, the arrow points towards the pipe. So that little arrow has to point towards this pipe. So let me get that in there real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that this pipe is installed on the muffler, back box, whatever you want to call it, put it down in that stud there, and then we got to get another CM screw into this center hole. And then we're going to flip her back over. So just one moment. Okay, so once you have this second pipe in, we're gonna we're just gonna press fit that pipe into there, and then we will align our pipes so that they're kind of evenly spaced with the frame rails in the back, and then give a final tightening to the inside of those. So this one I just tightened before I started filming. Uh, before I hit record again. Yeah. Um, and the pipe's in there, and they're pretty evenly spaced. There's still some, some flex to them. So, I mean, you could, you could, you could, and you could still slightly, re, you know, maneuver them, but just try to get them close. We're going to flip her over. Get our little rattle cans out of the way. Oh, this thing is weighing a bit. And then we're going to get our final uh, little uh, KP screw into here. I don't know if you guys hear the dog bark, the dog barking upstairs, but my wife's having some friends over. Uh, they're going to go out for karaoke for one of the one of the friend group's uh, 30th birthday. Oh, man, I feel old. <laughs> And there we go. Um, so there's that. That's done. That's it with 43. And what do we have left? We have 44 left, and that's it. Let's see here. Got some stuff going on here, some things. Okay. Um, mufflers. Okay. A resonator. Ooh. Fancy words. I can read that. You didn't beat me. We got, looks like, two whole resonators. I'm just calling them mufflers. Usually the little guys before the muffler are the resonator, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I love getting corrected when I'm wrong in the comments. Because you know what? At least somebody knows the hell they're talking about. Oh, we got some screws. Oh, is there any more screws? No, that was it. Okay. What are these? BP screws, founder of the world's worst oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Thank you. All right. I, I didn't eat shrimp for like two years. or eat, I'm, I'm lying. I went to Red Lobster. I had fried shrimp like within six months of that oil spill. Um, here we go. We got a right and a left and a right and a left. They are marked on the inside. Trust me, the other ones say R and these say L. Um we're going to start with our left muffler. So we're going to put the right muffler over there. And these are both identical. So looks like this will go here with a BP screw. And then, and then, no and then. And then we will put the other side on here two more BP screws in there. Let me get a few BP screws in and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I went ahead and did the right muffler um, just because uh, they're pretty much identical except this input holes on the other side. So it's probably going to be, there we go. Yeah, one's going to ultimately end up on there and one's going to end up on there and they're going to be bolted probably to the bottom of the body once we have that part of the body there for now though they're just they're just flapping in the breeze and we're done with 42 and that's it for that pack of parts now do not in my opinion and a few others i've read do not just let this thing sit like this because you could end up slowly bending your frame rail 
uh, it does weigh a, a tiny bit already. So I would like prop it on something well, slightly taller than this. But I would I would prop it up on something there or just not put this rear wheel on. Um, but I'm just going to prop it up on something on, on my... Uh, my work mat. I don't think it'll really cause any problems long, you know, if you're sitting a month like that, waiting for your next pack, eh, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. But either way, if you don't want to take the chance, then you could chalk this up until it's like holding the weight of that. Or you could put, you know, four equally sized little blocks underneath the entire frame and hold the entire vehicle up off, off the, uh, off the surface it's sitting on. And that's, that's it. I'm sort of good advice, I guess, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Dumbest Hobby Channel on all of YouTube. Pitsday and Hobbies, same bat time, same bat channel, same bat fingers pointing at the damn links down below. Click on the Phantom link. Okay, <laughs> I did my job. Adios, everybody.